as we've seen when calculating the Fourier coefficients, we run into a lot of fairly grimy integration. We're going to now in this video look at different types of symmetry that periodic waveforms can demonstrate. And in the following videos, we'll demonstrate how we can exploit that symmetry to reduce the amount of integration necessary to calculate the, the coefficients. So first of all, let's just look at four different types of symmetry. Even symmetry is a symmetry where f of t equals f of negative t. So here is f of t, say f of 5, and there's f of negative 5. And what we see is that the value of f of negative 5 is the same as the value of f of 5. That's what even symmetry is. Another term for it is symmetry about the y-axis. Odd symmetry is characterized when f of t is equal to negative f of negative t. So here's f of t, say, at 4. Then f of negative t over here at negative 4 is equal to the opposite value as it was at 4. So another term for odd symmetry is symmetry about the origin. Then there's what's known as half-wave symmetry. With half-wave symmetry, the second half of the period is the same as the first half, or f of t is equal to, I said that wrong, it's not the same as the second half, it is um, the same but opposite sign as the second half. So f of t up through t over 2 is equal to negative f of t minus t over 2. So here's a periodic function. It's neither even nor odd. Now you can have half-wave symmetry in even or odd functions, but that doesn't have to have even or odd symmetry in order to be half-wave. So here's a function that has half-wave symmetry that we're going to demonstrate here in just a second, but it's neither even nor odd. So once again, it has a period of 10. So halfway through is 5. And a function has half-wave symmetry if the second half of the period is just the opposite in sign of the first half of the period. So what you do to test for it is you just draw a, whoops, draw a line at t over 2, shift the function to the left one half period, and then flip it. And if they line up, then it's got half-wave symmetry. In other words, we take this, cut it in half, flip it, in half, you know, flip it over the x-axis, and then shift it on over. And hopefully you can see that this part right there is equal and opposite to that part right there when we shift it. Another way of looking at it is that with half-wave symmetry, the lobes or lobe above the x-axis, above the time axis, is equal in shape and amplitude to the lobe below the t-axis. And it's got to be symmetrical about the um, t over 2, as we've already described, that t over 2 equal and opposite. Finally, quarter wave symmetry. Quarter wave symmetry must have half wave symmetry. So we see that this function here, there's the period, it has a period of 5. And it's half wave symmetrical if you look in between it halfway and shift it and then flip it over. It does have half wave symmetry. It's got as much below the line as it has above the line. And once you've demonstrated that it has half-wave symmetry, it also has quarter-wave symmetry if the waveform is symmetrical about the midpoint of each of the positive and negative lobes. So here's the positive lobe, there's the negative lobe, and it is symmetrical about the half-wave or the half-point of those lobes. So if this is t over 2, that would be t over 4. This lobe is symmetrical about that point 2 over 4 and 3t over 4. Here are a number of other waveforms. Let's just very briefly consider the symmetry of them. Here's a square wave that is construct constructed with odd symmetry. The values to the right of the y-axis, or the, uh, yeah, call it the y-axis, the vertical axis, are equal and opposite to the values 
um, to the left of the vertical axis. So it's symmetrical about the origin. Now here's that same waveform just shifted to the left a quarter of a, a quarter of a period. You see now that it has even symmetry. It's symmetrical about the vertical axis. F of t is equal to negative f of t. Here's a square wave with neither odd nor even symmetry, but as we pointed out before, this does have um, half wave symmetry. It's got as much above as it has below. And if we were to cut this at the line, at the point t over 2, shift it, and then reflect it about the horizontal axis, would find that the that it lined up with itself. So this has half wave, but neither even nor odd symmetry. Here's a triangle shaped wave that's constructed with even symmetry, symmetrical about the y axis. Here's an arbitrary waveform with even symmetry. And here's that waveform that we were looking at before. It's constructed with odd symmetry, it also has half wave symmetry, and it has quarter wave symmetry also.